so 72% there. And it says we can go 210, and I think Dell's about 170, so we should make it. Hopefully there's better charges at Dell that we can uh, head up to 80. We'll find out. Okay, I want to try something. Now that I have my morning coffee, I can hit the road again. So I made it to Dell Supercharger here, another Electrify America charger, 350 kilowatts. So I hope that this one goes a little bit better than the last one. Let's go for some figures here. I switched everything to miles, so it'll look a little bit different. So I arrived with 30%. Uh, we went 100.5 miles, 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour, and it took us an hour and almost 40 minutes, and the range, we have 57 miles left. So I'm going to go over, see if I can try to plug this uh, Electrify America 350 in, and I'm hoping for the fastest speed I've ever seen. Sometime now, uh, I'm very disappointed in Electrify America thus far. The charging just hasn't been a great experience, so this charging session was the exact same as the one back at Butte. So you plug it in, it charges, it kind of finds the happy medium, but then it'll charge up and it kind of like surges. So it goes up really high, then down, and then really up and then down. Uh, then maybe it will stabilize, maybe it won't stabilize. And then after a couple of minutes, it just says session error and, and just kicks you off and tells you to move your vehicle because you got 10 minutes for uh, your grace period to leave your vehicle without charging. So then I switched to another charger and that one did the same thing. But luckily I did it enough times that it charged up to 80%. And then I was on the phone with Electrify America and she could only issue a report of what was happening through charging all of these times. I think I charged like six different sessions and now we have 90%, so it's good enough. So next is Idaho Falls is where we're off to and it's about 100 miles or 160 kilometers. So we'll uh, start heading there. Shortly after leaving Dell, I crossed over into Idaho. All right, so I'm making another audible here. So uh, I initially thought to go to Idaho Falls. Instead, we're gonna go to Pocatello because it's uh, the elevation is downhill and we have 90% uh, charge. So we're gonna do that instead. Head down there. I can't remember, it's 240 kilometers. Uh, miles conversion, I can't do that off the top of my head, but we have 180 miles, so we should for sure be able to get there no problem and uh, get to that Electrify America. So perfect, we'll, uh, I'll head there and I'll catch you guys up with an update once we arrive. So we made it to Chebec. Um, a pretty decent drive the whole way was on interstate pretty busy but not bad at all uh, we're here at Walmart at the electrify America chargers are plugged into a 350 kilowatt charger right now um, so let's take a look so we were down to 25 here we went 148 miles and an efficiency of 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour and you can see over here, we're currently charging at about 124, 126 kilowatts. So uh, it'll take 20 minutes or so, 19 minutes to 80% and 41 minutes to 100%. So I'm actually going to use this opportunity to go get some lunch. I haven't eaten since 5 a.m. and it's currently 1.40 p.m. So I'm going to go off and do that. So this is what I thought the Electrify America was all about. So I went into Walmart for 18 minutes. 
it's charged from, what was it, 25? And it's 75 right now. So right now it's pulling in 134 kilowatts. That's just amazing. So that's what I was hoping this whole time. Although this setup seems to be a different version, maybe a newer version of the chargers and setups and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, second thing, so last night I actually did sleep in my car, but sleep is a relative term. Tonight I'm gonna make some changes. So I bought a sleeping bag and I bought a pillow. And other than that, I think I should be perfectly fine. It'll be super comfortable and I'll just see how I get on. I don't know where I'm gonna sleep though, but uh, last night I might have had maybe three, four hours of sleep. So I'm pretty tired now. But yeah, I got that all set up back there for whenever I want to, so that's great. Um, I'll let this charge a little bit more. I didn't even have time to figure out our next uh, leg, where we're going or anything like that. So we'll do that now. I think I want to stop before Salt Lake City. I'm going to stop at Perry. It's another Walmart supercharger and uh, supercharger being uh, the Electrify America charger. So we'll go there, charge up, and then I can blast past Salt Lake City without any concerns at all. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll uh, head to Perry, top off again, and then continue on past Salt Lake City. Shortly after leaving Pocatello, I crossed over another American border into Utah. We've made it yet again. This is just turning out to be an amazing road trip. I love it so much now that uh, we're in the States, we're on the interstate for most of the traveling, and there's chargers everywhere and fast chargers that work. Click subscribe to follow the Las Vegas road trip.